What is good everybody today we're going to be discussing some brand new action figure news for you guys in the wrestling action figure space today we're talking about some AEW action figures now AEW has been releasing some pretty good stuff here lately now we did have this posted up by ringside collectibles it is AEW unrivaled series 15 some brand new images of some figures we're going to be getting and we also have a couple ringside exclusive things to get into as far as AEW action figures and they actually did do some men on card images of elite 110 but I don't think that's enough to discuss here today but having all of Unrivaled Series 15 here. I want to discuss it, get on here, and break it all down for you guys. So with that being said, man, let's go ahead and dive into it. We have AEW Unrivaled Series number 15. Now up first, we do have Unrivaled 15, the Devil MJF here in the all black with the masked head sculpt. I like this a lot. The only thing I'm worried about with this figure is going to be the scaling. I hope that the sp scaling is accurate and, you know, everything fits well. And what's nice about this is I feel like we're going to be able to turn this guy into a lot of different people, right? And you even have the poker chip on the hook, which I think is also very cool. So we are getting some unique pieces here but I think this is a perfect build for a lot of different things you can make some goons or some different extras with this figure as well but the devil mask looks really good I like the sculpt work and everything of course we don't have the figure in hand we don't know what it looks like altogether. but here in the render shot it does look good so I am excited for a devil MJF very unique figure should be very fun but we also have a chase variant of this figure and the chase variant of this figure is essentially the exact same figure but it is going to be MJF unmasked so you're kind of getting the exact same figure but the turtle Necks kind of pulled down, and he does come with a head sculpt or a, a hand sculpt, I should say, that is holding the mask, and he also comes with a scarf. So I, I like this as a chase because it's a little bit different. I do wish that the original figure did come with that same sculpted hand holding the mask, but the chase variant version is going to be this here, with, like holding the mask. I like the MJF likeness. This could actually be the best MJF head sculpt we've seen from AEW. So, but this is the MJF Chase One of Five Thousand Unrivaled Fifteen figure. But I do like that that hand sculpt holding the mask. I think is very unique. You know, we've seen separate mask sculpts that are loose, but having one that's actually sculpted into the hand is a pretty cool deal. But I, I like the likeness here on the MJF head sculpt. It's going to be interesting to see how it all plays out when it's here. But this was the Chase variant in the set here. And the other Chase variant in the set is going to be Ethan Page. And I think the gold version is going to be the 1 of 3,000 rare edition. So the Ethan Page rare 1 of 3,000 will be the black and gold version of Ethan Page. And I like Ethan Page. So I like this figure. He's going to come with his jacket and what have you. And we actually have a look at what these figures are going to look like in hand or what they're going to look like for the most part. So I imagine these figures are probably going to be coming soon, you know? I, I would imagine so because I do believe the Major Pod uploaded the fi the photos of the figure itself. And they have a look at the regular edition and a look at the chase. And I like this torso that they're using for Ethan Page. The only thing that I'm worried about is I don't like this head sculpt. I don't think the head sculpts look very good and I don't like that he looks like he has a giraffe neck. Like He does have a pretty long neck there and he does have a rubber jacket. I wish that rubber jacket or rubber accessories just need to be discontinued to be honest with you, but we do have a look at the regular edition and the chase edition in what seems to be probably prototype form, but this may be their final editions. I don't know, man, but I, I don't think it would be that difficult to find a torso for your Ethan Page figure if you wanted to switch that. I don't think it would be that difficult to find that, you know, but it, you never know, but I don't really care for the smirking head sculpt. I definitely like the screaming expression over the smirking head sculpt, but I do like the torso. I just think that the head sits a bit high. Now, I don't know if that's something that's going to be able to be fixed. Maybe you can mod it a little bit, dig in there, and make it sit a little deeper. I'm not entirely sure, but you do have your regular edition and your Chase variant edition in the black and gold. But in this case, I actually like the regular edition more. I like the black and white attire with the white knee pads over the black and gold with the Darby jacket there with the coffin on the back. So that's just my take. The all-ego Ethan Page. You guys can let me know if you which version you like better. But the black and gold all-ego, and then you do have the gray jacket, and then you have the black and white, which I I prefer the black and white like I stated. So there is Ethan Page and that is your two Chase variants in the set. Not anything to write home about with the Chase variants. I don't think they're Chases where you get dis like super disappointed not getting it. I will be disappointed however if this MJF Chase right here, if that head sculpt's damn good that will be disappointing because it's going to be like damn I wish I had that to put on my other MJF but we'll have to see about that of course. But let's move on to the next one. We do have Page or Soraya here, Unrivaled 15. I don't know, man. Not a big fan of this head sculpt. Head sculpt kind of is giving me some Michael Jackson vibes here, but we won't really know until we get it in hand. Sometimes, you know, the render is better than the actual thing. She's going to have a rubber jacket. I don't really care for rubber jackets, like I stated. I just, they, like, they, if you have a, if you have a jacket and it's rubber and you can't articulate the arms, I just have no use for it, man. I'm going to put it in a drawer and never pull it out. That's just kind of how I am with rubber accessories. I'll use it if it's a duster. I'll use it if it's a, you can put, you know, it's one of those sleeveless muscle tees that's, uh, 
uh, like the Rey Mysterio style or the Ryback style from back in the day. I'll use it that way. I'm not using it outside of that, man. I, I don't like rubber accessories. I just put them in a drawer to rot for eternity. That's how it goes. But we do have Paige or Soraya here. I'm not that confident in the head sculpt, you know, so we'll have to see when it comes to fruition. Sometimes the render shot looks better than the final production. Sometimes the final production looks better than the render shot. So that'll be one of those things. But let's move it on. We do have Daniel Garcia here in the blue. And I like the attire. I feel like he's looking a bit lean here, man. He's looking pretty damn, pretty damn lean here. But I like the blue gear. I like the blue gear. We do get the pure championship, which looks good. Not a first time in the line, but looks like he's also coming with the black towel. It should be an interesting figure. I know a lot of people are wanting Daniel Garcia, so we'll have to see you know what makes of this figure. He does look like he's going to be super poseable, so that's always a bonus that you get with the figure, but we do have a blue gear Daniel Garcia finally coming in the line, and then we also have our former AEW champion. We have Samoan Joseph, or Uncle Tim, here in the green and black, which is essentially a repaint of the Target exclusive in the red attire, but we do have the green attire here. It looks to be the the same head sculpt, white towel, all those things. I'm sure some people, he still has those baby hands, which, you know, I wish they would get rid of, but we do have Samoan Joseph here in the green. So, uh, the Elite 56 equivalent from Mattel, but Samoa Joe's Elites weren't even that good, to be honest with you. They they were very terrible to pose around and things like this, and I even have a video on the channel comparing the two between an Elite and an Unrivaled, and I don't even remember, that happened so long ago, I don't remember the comparison exactly, but you guys are interested in to see what the differences are. There is a whole video on the channel, but we do have Samoan Joseph or Uncle Tim, and then the last figure in Unrival 15 is going to be Lionheart Chris Jericho, which I like. I, I like this figure a lot. I like the gear. I'm not big on this head sculpt, you know, but I do like this, and it kind of would be intriguing to torso swap this and then try to make an actual Lionheart version of Chris Jericho. Wouldn't that be pretty cool to just use the lower half and make an actual throwback Chris Jericho? This is still cool. I like this. I, I don't know how I feel about the head sculpt. Kind of difficult to tell, but we have so many Jericho head sculpts you could really choose from to see if you could find one you like, but I don't know. We'll have to see when this comes out. He just, I don't know, he's, he's looking a bit, it looks like his chin is a bit pointy there. We'll have to see when it comes out, but I, I am looking forward to the figure in terms of what the gear is going to look like, how the head sculpt's going to finally turn out, but I do have Lionheart Chris Jericho, which I think is at least a different take on Jericho and not the same black leather pants or something like that, which is always nice to see. So we are getting a Lionheart Chris Jericho, but we also have a few more things here to discuss with AEW. We had this leaked out. I think this is going to be a Target exclusive. It is a Target exclusive Britt Baker in the pink gear from the Owen Hart tournament and this looks sick as hell. Now, it is a repaint Britt Baker, but I like the head sculpt. I love the gear. The black, pink, and white is right up my alley, and she comes with that commemorative championship, which is cool. Even if it's not, you know, the biggest or grandest championship of all time, still a sick figure, still a sick gear, and I will definitely be grabbing this, and I'm hoping that the foil on the packaging is going to be pink. We'll have to see, but that would be sick as hell, too, and I'm imagining if we're getting this, shouldn't we get an Adam Cole to match it? We'll have to see about that, but Britt Baker with her championship in the pink. I do, it's only a blurry image. I think this it, this looks like it was taken off of one of those. It was either taken off of a screenshot or something like that. It's a very blurry image. It looks like somebody took a photo with their phone of a screen with the figure on it is what it looks like. But I like this pink. I like this a lot. And Britt Baker has some really good figures. So I'm sure it'll feel fine in hand, all the different dandy things. But I like the pink. The pink is sick. I'm definitely grabbing this. No full word on what this is yet, but I'm sure we'll know in due time. Also, that Brian Danielson figure is actually hitting retail, that new pay-per-view figure. I think on the West Coast, that Brian Danielson pay-per-view revolution figure is hitting. So if you guys are interested in that, you definitely need to go check that out. But Britt Baker in the pink is another figure we have. And then we also have a look at the packaging for the Jericho Housen figure, which is pretty cool. You know, AEW is always going all out on their packaging. I like it. It's got Jericho Housen. It's got like the split. You have like these diamond studs with the spiral. Very cool. You know, I say what you will about the figure itself. I'm not the biggest. Like, I understand what they're going for there. It's not my favorite release ever, but but it is a unique figure, and you do have the Jericho housing there, and he's got the, you know, the Dan housing attire, he's got the cape, the face paint, and everything going on, but the packaging does look good. I wanted to plug in the packaging and talk about this if you guys are interested in that. We do have a Jericho housing update, and then last but not least, we have a ringside exclusive Jeff Jarrett, AEW Unrivaled figure. Very cool right here, man. You know, we were robbed of the Ultimate Edition. He jumps
comes to AEW, but hopefully we will get this AEW version, and if he ever signs a Legends deal or goes back to WWE, I'm sure we will get that Ultimate Edition Jeff Jarrett, and we'll probably get more versions of Jeff Jarrett, but he comes with a guitar, he has his red duster. See this, if this is a rubber duster, which I'm sure it is, at least it's rubber, and you know, it's not going to hinder the articulation in terms of the arms, which always bothers the hell out of me, but I like the head sculpts, they do look like Jeff Jarrett, I like that he's got his different hands going on there, I like the gear that they chose, pretty cool Jeff Jarrett, man, pretty cool Jeff Jarrett, I like the silver, the black, and the red, and he is going to come with the guitar and everything, so this should be a fun figure, I like this release, should be good, I know a lot of people are, are happy to get a Jeff Jarrett, and you could play around with this, maybe use some different head sculpts, make some different fix-ups and customs and things like this, so maybe that's something that you'll want to explore with your Jeff Jarrett action figure, of course, but that is going to be ringside exclusive, and I think it is up for pre-order, so if you guys are interested interested in that, you can go over there, use code MD Toys to pick up a Jeff Jarrett figure, but uh, that will be that, man, but, so Unravel 15 is up for pre-order, we also have the, we also have Double J, we also have the Jericho Housing, all of that stuff, if you want to grab it, man, you can do so over there, but I wanted to get on here and update you guys on some AEW action figure news, I'd like to know what you think of all these figures down below, you skipping them, you passing them, let me know all those things down in the comment section below, man, but I'm getting the hell out, thank you guys for watching, hope you guys did enjoy, huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel, appreciate all those fellas over there for all their continued support, you guys are absolutely incredible, but I'm getting out of here, man, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys, I'll see you guys in the next video, have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.